So the Fruits Basket remake is out, it's being done closer to the manga, and I know that a lot of fans are really excited about that because a lot of people were pretty upset with how the anime ended and the things that they changed in the anime. And some of you remember my last video about how the Fruits Basket remake was really, really good. And I did mention in that video that I was not a big fan of how the manga ends the Soma Curse. So in this video I kind of want to explain a little bit more about the Soma Curse, what it is, how it gets lifted at the end of the manga, and why I have such a big problem with it. To be honest, it's the only thing in the manga series that I think really needs to be changed in the 2019 series. Everything else, you know, you can keep everything else the same, that's whatever, but I think that the Soma Curse needs to be tweaked a little bit. Now before I go over anything, I just want to say I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers, obviously. These are just my opinions, my thoughts on the Soma Curse, and why it just doesn't make that much sense to me. And of course, I do have to warn you guys, this is not a spoiler-free discussion. I will be going over a million spoilers in the manga. So only watch this video if you've read the manga, or if you just don't care if you get spoiled. Alright, is everyone gone? Let's get into this. So first I kind of want to explain what the Soma Curse was and how it gets broken in the manga. So ever since the first chapter of Fruits Basket, we've been given this story. And this is a real story of the Zodiacs that I'm sure many of you have heard even before watching Fruits Basket. But it's the idea that God invited all the Zodiac animals to a banquet and the cat ended up getting left out because the rat tricked him. And that's kind of the idea of why Kyo and Yuki have this rivalry together because the cat and the rat just naturally have the instinct to go after each other because they're so angry with each other. But further down the line in the anime, we get another story about the Zodiacs. And it kind of retcons <laughs> the original story that we got introduced to. So as it turns out, that story about how the rat tricked the cat, yeah, that never happened, apparently. What is supposed to be the real story of the Zodiacs and the Soma Curse is that God was alone on a mountain and God was too scared to make friends with humans. And one day, a cat came by to God and said, hey, I'll be your friend. In fact, we can throw a whole banquet. And God figured, well, I'm friends with this cat. Maybe I can just get along better with animals. So God invited all these animals to come to the banquet, and they all had this blast of a banquet. But it wasn't too long into the banquet where the cat suddenly collapsed and died. And then everyone realized, well, we're all going to die one day, and we don't want this banquet to ever end. So God cast a magic spell and had everyone drink from the sake cup. And everyone who drank from the sake cup would be reborn, and then they would have this banquet for all eternity. When the cat drank from the sake cup, he woke up and he was like, God, why did you do this to me? I don't want eternity. I want us to accept that all things must come to an end. And then all the other Zodiacs heard that and were like, Bitch, what? The Zodiacs turned against the cat because they wanted eternity. They wanted to be with God. But God kind of understood why the cat was upset about this. And in the end, they were reborn. And for some reason, they were reborn specifically only in the Soma family. Some of you might ask, why just the Soma family? Why not any human family? Well, I don't know. To summarize this new story, basically, the reason why this horrific Soma curse has plagued them, the reason why they're suffering so much, is because God was fucking around with magic. God was just messing around with magic like, hey, I want to have a banquet for Evas, and ended up causing so much suffering. <laughs> to this poor Soma family, especially to the cat. Like, what? And I understand the idea of the Soma curse being that it touches upon fear of death. And you know, we all have to accept death. We all have to accept that our lives will one day come to an end. 
And you know, that's not a bad topic to touch upon, but it doesn't make any sense in this context. So basically, it just clarifies that the original story, the story that we've been told ever since chapter one, never happened. That story never happened. So the rat and the cat have no reason to fight with each other. They have no reason to instinctively hate each other. In the story, it's the entire Zodiac family who hates the cat, except for God. So why is it only Yuki and Kyo who instinctively hate each other? But even more so, how does this explain true form? How does this explain the curse of the cat? I kind of thought maybe the idea was because the cat died when he took the sip of sake, that like true form is like the form of a dead cat and that's the idea of why it smells of rotting flesh but it don't look like a dead cat it kind of looks like a demon now doesn't it but even more so the cat we've always been told that the cat the true form of the cat is the cat's evil spirit something that none of the other zodiacs or god have and the fact that kyo uses prayer beads to suppress true form kind of just solidifies the idea that yes, the cat is an evil spirit, it needs to be suppressed. But in this new story, the cat is not an evil spirit. The cat did nothing wrong. Then we also have the situation of how the curse eventually becomes undone. And we had, once again, we have all this foreshadowing from all these other chapters of Fruits Basket, basically saying, Toru is going to break the curse. That's what we've been told the whole time. Toru is going to break the curse. Toru even says herself, I'm going to break the curse. I'm going to find out how to break it. And we're all getting hyped up like, yeah, Toru, break the curse. Nope. She doesn't break the curse. So as it turns out, the curse was getting weaker and weaker with every generation. So the curse was already slowly being broken. Basically, you don't like the curse? Wait five minutes. So like everyone just slowly but surely becomes cured of the curse and then Conveniently, by the end of the manga, boom, everyone's free. They just had to wait. They just had to wait for the curse to be undone. Toru did nothing. <laughs> no one did anything. It just happened. Now, in a way, I can kind of understand why maybe uh, Natsuki wanted to do this. There is something interesting about, you know, the first person to be released from the curse was the bird. And uh, obviously, like, Akito did not respond to that very well. We see, like, how desperate she is to keep her family together when she's, you know, crying towards him, saying, please don't leave me, please don't leave the Zodiacs. You can have that same exact scene just by, like, Akito hearing a rumor that he's going to leave, or him having a plan to, like, pack up his bags and move to another country and Akito hears about this and she's genuinely scared that her Soma family is gonna break up so she pleads, please, please, please stay, don't leave me, don't break up the Zodiacs. But he doesn't have to have the curse broken for Akito to do this plea, for Akito to have this scene with him. That's not really the only reason why I think Natsuki did this. I think she did it because she didn't know how the heck Toru was going to break the curse. I don't think that she planned ahead, and <laughs> she just kind of, instead of taking time off, thinking about it, and coming up with a way for Toru to break the curse, she just decided, okay, get out of jail free card, the curse breaks on its own. And as far as the explanation of what the Soma curse is, that was probably something an editor suggested to her. I can definitely imagine an editor saying to her, oh, you have to explain what the curse is, you have to add in another story there, people need an explanation of why the curse exists, and maybe she didn't want to do an explanation, and so she just came up with this, this metaphor for death, and she was obviously thinking about Akito's personality while she was coming up with this story, but she wasn't really thinking too much on how it would make sense with the rest of the story. And because of that, it just, it don't make sense. It's really frustrating for me to see that scene at the beginning of episode one of the Fruits Basket remake, because I disagree with that whole decision, that whole story. 
I, I just, mmm, I disagree with it so much. Natsuki, please, if you're watching this, please change the story. It doesn't make any sense. Literally, I'm okay with everything else in Fruits Basket. I'm even okay with the pedophilia. I just want the story to make sense. That's my only request. And while I was first reading Fruits Basket, I had all kinds of different theories of how the Soma Curse was going to be broken. The way I think Natsuki should have gone with this Soma Curse story. First of all, she doesn't have to explain how the Somas got cursed. I mean, she barely even explains it in this new story that they just throw in there. But she doesn't have- she needs to know that she doesn't have to explain it. It could just be as simple as, oh, the Somas were all just- were bad people. And we've been bad people for centuries, and God and the Zodiac spirits have cursed us for being bad people. And ever since then, we've been suffering with each other. It could just be like something simple and vague like that, but I definitely think she should have kept the original Zodiac story. The story about how the rat tricked the cat is crucial to Fruits Basket. You can't retcon that. It's not an option. Now, as far as explaining true form, you should look at the original Zodiac story and look at it in kind of a metaphorical sense. Now, what are the Zodiacs? You know, they're systems that tell time, yada yada yada, but they also represent characteristics in humanity. And God, supposedly, created humanity. I'm not sure if that's true within this anime context, but that's the idea of the Zodiacs. God created humanity, and the Zodiac signs are kind of like characteristics of humans, real humans. So if you wanted to, you could make it so, okay, the rat tricked the cat and the cat was not able to join the Zodiacs. Maybe that means that the cat is not human. Maybe that's why the cat has this hideous, demonic, true form. Maybe it really is anti-God. So what you could have done was extend the original Zodiac story. Rat tricked the cat, and when the cat found out that there was this huge banquet that he missed, maybe he felt very, very lonely and frustrated, and very, very angry, not only at the rat, but at the entire Zodiac family, even at God. And maybe because he was so angry and vengeful, he turned into a demon. You already have true form that looks like a demon. You might as well commit to the bit. Maybe God realizes that they are kind of at fault for, for, for creating this evil cat spirit. And maybe that kind of shows a bit of guilt on God's part. And God becomes unhappy because they realize our happiness, the Zodiac's happiness, cause somebody else to suffer. And they keep on reliving this suffering. They keep on spreading this sadness within the Soma family. It's not just a curse for the Somas, but it's a curse for the spirits who are possessing them. So the idea I have for having the curse be broken, if we're sticking with this original idea of what the curse actually is and what true form actually is, I would make it so that as long as God is suffering, the other Zodiacs must also suffer. This would also be a very good reason why, when the Zodiacs are introduced to God, they burst into tears, because they feel God's suffering. The only way to break the curse is to relieve God of their suffering. Imagine the contradiction if Ikido knew how to break the curse, but just didn't want to break the curse. Imagine how contradicting it is to want the Zodiacs to stay together so you can be happy, but also not want to be happy because you want the Zodiacs to stay together. Imagine the contradiction for the other Zodiacs who know they want to be free of Aikido, they want to be free of the Zodiacs, but in order to do that, they have to face Aikido. They have to make this person that they hate happy. What's more, this also gives a big push for redeeming Akito, and I wasn't a huge fan of how they redeemed Akito either. Honestly, it felt like it needed a lot more build-up than just Toru coming up and being like, let's be friends. You need, a you need a little bit more than that. 
But if Toru actually knew that redeeming Akito, relieving God, relieving, relieving God of her suffering, would break the curse, then not only would the audience really, really want Akito to be redeemed, but Toru would have big motivations for redeeming Akito. And of course it makes much more sense why Toru needs to be the one to redeem Akito. Why Toru needs to be the one to make Akito happy. Because the other Zodiacs can't really do it. Because they're just instinctively made to just follow Akito's orders. Even when Akito's orders are not what she needs to be happy. She doesn't know what she needs to be happy. But what's more, she knows that she can't let herself be happy. It's a whole, it's a whole contradicting thing, and that's why I like it so much. And some of you might be asking, oh, well, what about the cat? How does redeeming Akito save the cat? Cat's curse, I think, would have to be broken separately from the Zodiac's curse, because the cat is not technically a part of the Zodiac's. And the way I think that you break the cat's curse is that you make the cat belong somewhere. Because the whole reason why the cat became a vengeful evil spirit is because he felt as though he didn't belong with the Zodiacs. He felt as though he was being left out and betrayed. And, you know, summarizing the romance between Kyo and Toru would definitely break the curse. So I feel like those explanations for the Soma curse and how to break it are much better than what we actually got. And even though that might not be the direction that we ever go with Fruits Basket, it'll still be my personal little fan fiction. <laughs> so tell me what you think about the Soma Curse, what you think about how they explained it and how they broke it, and what do you think about my version of how they should have explained it and how they should have broke it? Let me know below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you are enjoying Fruits Basket 2019 as much as I am, and I'll see you next time. Bye!